Okay, okay. Um, this is like my third video today, and I feel like I'm kind of spamming you guys. Or maybe you like that content. Uh, if you like my content, then I don't want to complain. But I just don't want to spam, uh, uh, like spam you guys with too much stuff at the same time. Now, I don't need to do this video right now. Some people are gonna do videos about it anyway. But this is more of me reacting to it, kinda ish. And they're gonna have an overview. And whenever they do the overview themselves, um. I'm going to put it in this video description, but this is my own overview. Let me take out my uh, little script, the uh, information I have here on file, too. So, first and foremost, we got a new Warframe. This new Warframe name is Hildren. Yeah. So, basically, this Warframe is Zarya. To be completely honest, this, this Warframe is basically Zarya from Overwatch. She uses shields instead of energy. Uh... And has team buffs, so she's going to be a supportive, tanky frame. And she comes with our first weapon. And it's not going to be an exalted weapon that is a primary, or secondary, or a melee weapon. It's an arc wing weapon. But let me go on. I'm going to get back to that in a little bit. I basically told you everything you need to know about the frame anyway. Uh, Tenocon 2016, I mean 2019, is going to be July 6th. So mark that on your calendar. It's right around the corner. Um... For Switch players, we gonna y'all gonna get Fortuna on there. I would say we, but I didn't migrate my account, so I'm never gonna touch it. Uh, also for other console players, um, Switch is on a whole nother one. So PS4 and Xbox players, you guys will be getting turned into round 14 very soon. So uh, I will actually put round 14 in the description as well. But round 15 is coming to us for um, for our PC players. I want to. I'm trying to think because I'm also trying to control myself with my emotions because I'm happy and upset at the same time. And I say this because I made a round 15 prediction video, which I will uh, put in the end of the video, or uh, I'll link it in the end of the video or whatever. But I made a prediction video for round 15, and, like, maybe three of the items I predicted came into the game. And I see that they're, like, trying to even it out so I can appreciate that. So we got some new items, brand new items, that came out, like, in the last two months, being the first two items. Uh, actually, the first three items are brand new, being the, the sword skins that Lekenu made, or was it Led? I'm going to have to double check on that. Uh, think Lead made this Sandana. This is my latest video. And I f a new Tenogen artist made that uh, Mesa skin there. So I'm going to scroll back a little bit on this. Wait, I can't touch. Okay. So we got that Mesa skin right there that was brand new. And we got this Garuda skin. And I believe that is the Blade of the Lord skin made by Beast Buster. And then we got my boy Reku. I need to, I need to message him and tell him congratulations. Um, he made the skin right here for Evara. And then next up we have that Revenant helmet. I think these shots are basically the same exact shots. I think it shows the Mesa skin slightly longer. I'm gonna link this in the description too. Um, but we got the Revenant helmet at the beginning over here. I forgot you gotta grab the ball. So I got the Revenant helmet right here. This very slick looking helmet. We need a skin for Revenant. And my boy Yadis finally getting some skins into the game. I'm sorry, I'm very loud. I need to probably mess with my audio on uh, OBS. But we got the Ion skin for Rhino. We got the Ion skin for Excalibur. I'm happy that Yadis is finally getting recognized. But I am very displeased that they chose Excalibur over Frost. Because the Frost skin definitely is better than the Excalibur one. Fight me on this. Catch me on Frame Fighter, but we should have definitely got the Frost skin over the Scalibur skin. Scalibur did not need any more skins in this game. And the last skin that we got was the Night Hunter Nidus skin that I anticipated from round 15 actually into the game. And we got some uh, small tenon, tenon operator stuff. Um, you know, I had a little gift thingy for the operator stuff but i think it, it got lost or something i'm gonna 
link this in the description. And also, I have a page that has all the stuff in there. So let me get back on to this. So we got two new frames being, wait a minute, is one of these things broken? Because there's supposed to be more images. Up oh, there you go. So we got two new frames. The one on the left is called Wisp, and the one on the right, as I already stated, this is Hildren. Uh, we don't know any information about, about Wisp other than probably going to be a CC frame from looking at them. Uh, like I already said, she's like Zarya and stuff. This is her exalted arc gun or heavy weapon, as they call it now, uh, that she's going to have. And buck frame at its finest, whenever Rebecca tried to change weapons, the weapon kind of went, you know, right there, which is kind of funny. Uh, we got this glaive that we're going to get as an arc wing weapon. So we got an arc wing glaive coming. I wonder how that's actually thrown. Very interesting. It looks like the, uh, I think that's different colors, but it seems, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Because if you look at it right here, oh, that's a shadow. I'm about to say, like, is the blade separating for a little bit? I don't know how you're going to throw that, but I'm, in, I'm interested by it. Also, uh, this is a lot of information right here. This is where kind of most of the information came from ish. This is a new uh, event slash weekly that we're going to be getting. It's called the uh, Wolf of Saturn 6. Uh, took down was Wolf of the Saturn 6, a new alert system. There will be a webcomic coming into the game, like in game, and they said something about introducing a new character. It has Little Duck up there, so maybe somebody else besides Little Duck. Weekly challenges will be the Wolf of the Saturn 6, and there will be, like, Syndicate that will reset, and stuff to help us progress through the Master rank. Uh, let's see what else we got. So, we, they did a roadmap, and we, as the community, were saying some things. Steve wrote it at the top right, which is Rail Jack. Oh, no, that says reworks. He, I'm sorry, Steve, but your penmanship is horrible. Uh, we got reworks. We got Prime Taker. Raids coming back. The campaign system. And I cannot read. Oh, Lord. I'm about to say, I cannot read that during the stream, but I finally realized what it was. And then him, Steve himself, like, wrote some things on the left over here. Um, let's see what the final one looks like. I'm going to just go ahead straight to the last one. I put three different images up there. Uh... So we got three Warframes coming, as I made a video about it earlier. Uh, we could be getting three this year. Deck 12 Explorer, Explorer Explorer Orbs, Gas City, uh, basically the new rework or the new cosmetic-ish scene for the Gas City will be coming this year. Wolf and Saturn 6 alerts, um, new characters and cannot read that middle one because it's, I, I, like I can say, I, can, I can't read Steve's handwriting that good. New War, Warframe, Imperium, which is what he's going to call the update when it comes out. Real Jack, and then Planes, Planes, like the one you're flying, of the Uh They're going to be a new, a new faction. Um, and then we got, next pick is a pick for the New War. Steve made a joke about this being, uh, hold on, what is, what is he uh, looking for it? New fire, new pig. Steve made a joke about Lotus' mom being big. So, I'm not sure what he really meant about that, but it looks like this giant sentient ship is eating a bunch of stuff. I don't know if he was being, uh, serious about that or not, but, yeah. And right here, this said something about reworking the beginning of the game, and this is a teaser image for what is to come. It's interesting. Uh, so this is the image for the new enemy faction type called the very, the very, the very something like that. Um, we will be getting new corpus enemy types. This is just the first to come for real Jack, most likely. Uh. Yeah, that's about it for that. Um, so you will be able to trade six items instead of five 
in the near future and you can customize them from items mods and platinum to a better organization also when you go into the item select screen you will still be able to see what six items are selected i'm not sure if it's six items that you're the person is trading you or your six items i'm assuming it's the person six items that who is who's trading you basically um because i'm not sure who is controlling who i'm pretty sure yeah Yeah, I'm pretty sure you see what six items you have up there while you're trading it. So I don't know if it's going to work out a drag and drop system or it just it's going to re-up on it. Either way, um, also, this is important. So someone asked about Sentinel weapons and Arc Guns mod as ribbons. And the response was, Arbitration Store will have Arch Wyvern mods and Companions will have a Conversion Riven thing. Uh, I put a, tier, a number there for you guys to go to the actual Death Streaming YouTube video and then kind of see exactly what they were saying. It kind of confused me slightly, but it seems what it sounds like they're saying is you they're going to have a, a thing that allows you to turn one river mod into a pet river mod or sentinel or something like that, companions. I'm not sure they mean just the animals like the dog and the cat or all the companions, but... That's what they said. Um, that was the last image, but I have a lot of things that I wrote down here. So, they talked about selecting difficulties on no possibly coming into the game. Scott basically uh, mentioned that. And they said talks of making it possible to leave survival at intervals instead of forcing four people to leave the survival at the same time. Seems like that should have came into the game a long time ago. Uh already talked about Hildren buffing frame. Uh yeah, I know I have more notes than this. Oh yeah. So another thing that they talked about is we're gonna get some small PvP things coming into the game. So I'm gonna open all these as I talk. So they said we're gonna get these races that are, I'm assuming are parkour related and will all be on foot. And uh, he said it's going to be more like Mario Kart rather than like an actual real PvP system. Um, let's just see. Cross platform in the future was a question that was asked. Their reply was as, players, as a player, Steve is for it, but. As a developer, he said it might be harder because the game is constantly changing and it would be hard to kind of submit those slurts to their respective companies being Microsoft, Sony, and then Nintendo. And they would like to do that, but it cannot promise it right now as the month of January. And they said ask again next month as a joke. Uh, they did say it would probably be easier to share progress between platforms or have items being shared throughout the accounts and this would be a gradual step in the future rather than a sudden change happening right now um uh, yeah i'm pretty sure that's like kind of mostly all of everything this said oh yeah new events coming and the orb events also are coming New fly enemies, not only corpus, will also be grenier fly enemies coming. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all the notes I basically took down for that. And let's look at some of the skins. See, okay, so look, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm pretty happy that Yacht is finally getting some recognition and getting his stuff into the game. Because this skin probably should have been came into the game since, like, round 12. But my complaint about it is, where is it? Oh, it about to be up here. Yeah, so look, the Ion, they're all three of them are literally right next to each other. Well, I mean, this is the Ion Rhino skin that I got updated. But you're going to give us the Excalibur one instead of the Frost one. Excalibur has too many damn skins in the game. We don't need more. All right, look, I'm not even going to rant on this right now. So this is also the... um. Garuda skin made by Processison. And 
I cannot remember who made it, but I do remember the scene of skin. And we got Reku's, like I said, we got Reku's uh, Astrea helmet. We got Night Hunter Nidus, made by MZ3. I'm going to rant about this stuff later, I will, because I'm going to compare the votes. Even though I said I'm going to stop looking at votes, but it, it's like, what's the point of even, like, seeing this right here? Is it's, it's equivalent to votes, I guess, honestly. And look at that. And then I'm going to check all three of these because I have to know right now. So that has 65. This one has 110. Like, you can see visually on the screen which one of these skins is more popular, right? But we still got the Excalibur one over the, the uh, goddamn... Frost one, and honestly, from looking at the votes, we really should have got the uh, Excalibur and Frost one rather than just the Rhino one. But I'll say we need the Rhino one more than the Excalibur because we don't have that many Rhino skins. Anyway, I'm not trying to rant right now. I apologize. But uh, so yeah, that's the Ion Rhino. This is the Blade of the Lotus skin made by Beast Buster. I'm really sad that we didn't get more uh, Blade of the Lotus skins. Hopefully round 16, which I guess I will be making a video for round 16 uh, predictions soon. Um, we got the Revenant Immortius, Immortus, Immortus skin made by Lubox. Lubox makes some pretty cool stuff. I'm def that's an instant buy for me. Uh, and we got the Lukenu crown, the Action Man Kirasune mask, the Lukenu. Oculus, wait a minute. Y'all added two Lakenu stuff up in the game? God damn you, DE. Uh, we got Swanky Swagonauts earpiece thing. Oh, it's Operator Eyewear. Okay. And we got Lakenu's Mithra Blade thingy. Uh, we also got the Hisasan Shinigami Katana. I, was, I knew that was going to come into the game, without a doubt. And we got Lead 2012 Dominius. Sendana, and I'm about to say, I know Led work with somebody on that one. So that's basically all the items that we have coming into the game, and this is a long video, and uh, I apologize for that. But there's a lot of stuff that happened. Stay tuned for the overview. I'm going to put into the description and my own overview from the Emger page, and also the link for Tenogen Round 15 and 14, and also the Death Stream link in the uh, video description from YouTube. And thank you guys for watching, and have a beautiful day.